Okay, the, the START programme in terms of, of, of Derry is, is a key programme for us. Um, it's about supporting teenagers away from recurring trouble. It's about ensuring that we can build a, a support service around those that bespoke to each of those individuals so that we can support them through their family life, through the criminal justice system, through any issue that's happening within education and that we're there for them. We're, we're the constant person for that individual. To date, the START programme has helped us uh, look after young people, providing counselling and support to those young people, not just to them but to, to family members who uh, may have a breakdown within the family and there's communication issues with, with the young people and, and, and their parents and how we supported that. It's also led us to engage young people into an employment programme which has given them as a pathway out of engaging in antisocial behaviour, criminal type behaviour, stuff that would lead them getting into uh, the criminal justice system. We've enabled them to come in uh, through the support of the START programme, employ them, give them a sense of security, give them a sense of identity, their social capital is massive in, in, in that where they can go out and socialise within their community. The benefit for that for our community is that we've lowered the tensions within our community. The community has benefited in terms of the decrease in antisocial behaviour. Uh, widely the community is impacted in terms of our merchant season where very low tensions that created across the city was there and managed very carefully through the START programme. That embedded us to look at how do we work within the community, not just with young people. So what, what mechanisms do we deploy through the START programme to work alongside the police service, to work alongside social, or, uh, social services, to work alongside all our community organisations so that we can ultimately uh, protect young people and ensure that we're Wherever young people are, we are there taking that journey with them to support them away from it. So in terms of moving forward for the START programme, I suppose that there's two approaches to that. The first approach is to continue building the capacity within the community and the relationships within the community so that we can protect our young people uh, and ensure that wherever they are, we're there to support them and that they know that. Um, and the second point is, how do we continue this learning journey for those young people? What is it we need to put in place in terms of the to further develop that sense of connection, that sense of belonging that they have with themselves and lead them down the path of education, lead them down the path in terms where they can make informed choices uh, for their own life and become active citizens within the community.